today we will learn about mendelian dihybrid cross in monohybrid cross mendel studied the inheritance of only one trait at a time but in an organism many different characters are present the factors that control them are also different so the inheritance of these factors will affect each other to understand this mendel performed a dihybrid cross of a garden pea plant a cross in which two contrasting characters are studied is called dihybrid cross we know that organisms that have same allele for a trait they are homozygous for that trait parents taking part in dihybrid cross are homozygous for two traits let's understand this experiment in a dihybrid cross mendel selected two homozygous plants in one the pods were green in color and inflated and in second plant pods were yellow in color and constricted by crossing these mendel obtained seeds and grew the first filial generation that is f1 generation the pods of all plants of this generation were green and inflated pause the video and identify dominant characters right in f1 generation the green color of pods was expressed so this is dominant on yellow color and pods were inflated that's why inflated character is dominant on constricted character that is yellow color and constricted pods are recessive characters we represent dominant characters by capital letter and recessive characters by small letter we know that offspring produced by sexual reproduction has two options for each other a variant of the gene is called allele for example here there are two forms of pod color green and yellow and two forms of pod shape inflated and constricted parents of f1 generation are homozygous for color and shape of the pod so they have the same allele for a character genetic constitution of any organism is called its genotype therefore the genotype of the parent with green and inflated pod is like this and the genotype of parent with yellow and constricted pod is like this since both parents have the same alleles for two characters that's why there is formation of only one type of gamete in each parent therefore the genotype of offspring formed by fusion of these two gametes would be like this the external appearance of any organism is called its phenotype the phenotype of plants of f1 generation will have green color and inflated shape of pods in these plants there are two different alleles for pod color and pod shape organisms that have different pair of alleles for one character are called heterozygous this is also called hybrid plants of f1 generation are heterozygous for two characters therefore these are called dihybrid mendel grew plant seeds of f1 generation and self pollinated the plants so can you tell me how many types of pods would have been produced in the f2 generation let me tell you on the basis of monohybrid cross 
we can say that some of the pods produced in F2 generation will be green and inflated and some pods will be yellow and constricted. But in F2 generation, four types of pods were produced. The F2 generation had different combination of color and shape from which two combinations were same as that of parents and two combinations were new. All these pods were in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1. This ratio is called dihybrid ratio. Mendel found that in the parent generation, inflated pod was green in color and constricted pod was yellow in color. But in F2 generation, there were pods which were inflated but were yellow in color. Similarly, there were pods which were constricted but green in color. This suggests that the inheritance of color of pod and shape of pod do not affect each other. This means that the color and shape of the pod is inherited independently. For this, the factor governing them has been segregated independently. On the basis of this understanding, Mendel proposed a third law of inheritance, which is called the law of independent assortment. According to this, when two pairs of contrasting characters are taken in a dihybrid cross, the inheritance of one pair is independent of the other. Or in other words, when two pairs of contrasting characters are taken in a dihybrid cross, each pair of factors is assorted independently. Let's understand this in a better way. Here, the genotype of the dihybrid plant is this. In this plant, at the time of formation of gametes, the combination of alleles will occur such that each gamete will receive only one allele for each character. Since here, alleles of two characters are present, therefore, these will be assorted independently and these gametes will be formed. Here, allele of green color of pod will be present in 50% alleles. Similarly, allele of yellow color of pod will be present in 50% of gametes. Similarly, you can see that each of the alleles of inflated and constricted pods is also present in 50% of the gametes. If we self-pollinate this dihybrid plant, then can you tell the genotype and phenotype of plant produced? Pause the video and try to find this with the Punnett square. Let me tell you, here the male gametes are like this and the female gametes are like this. For this, we will write Male and female gametes in two sides of Punnett square. We will write the fusion of these gametes in the square shown like this. Now we can see that in 16 parts of Punnett square there are 9 different genotypes. That's why the genotypic ratio of dihybrid cross is this. But under the rule of dominance, dominant character will be expressed. Therefore, in F2 generation of dihybrid cross, only four phenotypes will be obtained. The ratios of this is as follows. So now you must have understood the law of independent assortment of inheritance. So today we have learned about the Mendelian dihybrid cross.